All right, everyone, the price of gold at an all-time high. It's a great time to turn your clutter into cash. Helping us out with that third-generation pawnbroker, Wayne Cohen, here to tell us how. Wayne, how you doing? Great. I'm doing great. How you guys doing? Good. You got a whole crew here with you for this interview. Third generation and fourth generation. <laughs> Who's smarter, Wayne? I mean, I got, that's, got, that's got to be with you still, right? Who's smarter? Yeah. Both of them. <laughs> We'll put together, maybe. All right, Wayne. Let's well, they talk. think so. They think so, anyways. <laughs> All right, Wayne. Let's talk about gold and this economy. You know, paint us the picture of why you know gold is high. What that means for everyday folks. Well, that means for everyday folks, they should get rid of their gold and uh, start selling it pretty soon because uh, the price is way up there. It's at all-time high right now, and uh, people are smart. They would probably start liquidating some of their gold because you know it could come back down. For people that don't know, why is gold so tied to the economy? What does that mean for people when they start seeing those gold prices go high? Well, people are worried about the economy. They want to make sure uh, every, everything goes out. I mean, they have gold. Gold's an asset. It's a physical asset. So you have the gold. I mean, if you have a stock and a stock goes out or you have, you have cash and they, they, they change the money. I mean, you have gold. Gold's a physical asset that you could sell anywhere in the world. Right. So what are, what are the opportunities for the average family? Is it going through the drawers of stuff they have maybe had oh, or it was passed down? They don't even realize what they've got. Right. They go through all their – people have a lot of broken gold we buy from uh, people. They don't even think it's worth anything. I had a lady come in last week with a bunch of broken gold. She walked out of here with $5,000. She almost passed out. I had to call an ambulance for her. That's how <laughs> excited she got well, good. She had five thousand extra dollars, so she was all yeah, right for that. Yeah, walked out with a lot of money, and we're fair with people. We pay the right price, you know. Is it you just go to the right? If you want to sell your gold, you got to go to the right price, right yeah. place. Yeah. Is it just gold? Is gold, silver too? Like what other things are? Silver's high she, too, but silver's not at all time high. Okay. I think silver is going to really take off pretty soon, because it's right around twenty eight dollars. The all time high was about forty nine dollars when gold was nine hundred. Now, gold's around 2000 Silver is only $28. Silver's got a long way to go. Yeah. What about the idea that, look, I think a lot of people, maybe they feel okay right now, but we got this COVID stuff going on, and we got the economy, you know, up and down, up and down. Oh, I'm going to be okay. I mean, you're just got to speak to those people that are like, look, look five years from I mean, 2008's a great example. I mean, a rush on gold is an important thing to, that sets up, you know, some safety net for people. Exactly. If you have gold, I mean... Uh, People from generations to generations have gold. And they, they, right now, I think it's a good time to sell, though, between you and me. Yeah. Any other examples? I know you mentioned that one woman, but other things that people have brought in that maybe they thought, okay. oh, this is going to be worthless. And it turns out, oh, man, they got something. It happens every day around here. People walk out with tons of money. They thought they don't have nothing. When they go through all, they bring a box of stuff in. They found in their house, or their grandmother left them, or they found in the attic. They bought a, I have people come in here that actually clean out houses and they find the stuff in the house. They bring it here. I go through everything. It's unbelievable what they go, out, what they go home with. Mm -hmm. So you just recommend people, hey, bring it on in, talk to you guys, talk to you or the yeah, two we'll guys behind you. Out, no yeah. problem. Yeah. I think that's the important thing. I think a lot of people are worried or maybe they're, they're like, oh, this ain't going to be worth anything. Maybe they're a little embarrassed to bring it in because they think it's not going to be worth anything. They don't be embarrassed. They, bring it, they can bring it in any time. We'll never give them a problem. All right. Well, Wayne, good luck with everything, man. I know a lot of people got to bring this stuff in. Tell your kids to smile every once in a while. Come on. Yeah, well, they didn't get paid yet, so they're not, they're not smiling yet. <laughs> Payday's not till Friday. <laughs> smile, guys. Smile. Yeah. There, there you go. I got it. There How's you go. A little go. better? Yeah, there you go. All right. You can learn more about what Wayne buys and sells at waynepaysmore.com and check out their shop in Hammond, Indiana and Hammond Super Pawn and A1 American Jewelers and Loan in Oak Park. Wayne, take in care. Oak Park on North Avenue, yes. Oh, Thanks. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Yeah, you too. See you soon, okay? Okay, buddy. Take care. Take care.